so if you're going to be looking into getting a survey uh, for your house or for your business, there's going to be a lot of things you, you want to think about and uh, certain information you want to tell the surveyor. Um, so these are some examples of some surveys I just downloaded off of a Google search. And um, these are all very typical of what you can expect. And again, it's going to depend on what you need and what you ask for. And because surveys are sort of a specialized uh, drawing, oftentimes the people asking for the survey don't know what to ask for. So if you're lucky and the person you're working with is taking the time to educate you on the survey, um, it's going to be it's going to be really good for you. But if they don't, then you're kind of at their whim, and hopefully, what they provide is what you need. Um, a lot of times, you need a survey uh, to start a project. Let's say you want to do a like an addition to your house, and you're going to want an architect or or a builder uh, to come in. Uh, they're going to want to have a survey. Uh, so let's look at a, a typical survey. Um, this is just, like I said, what I downloaded from off of Google. Of a quick Google search. And you're going to see here, you know, it's going to have all the surveyor's information, uh, some notes, the legal description. Some of this stuff is not that important for you to look at because the other arch the architect will look at it. Um, but you also want to make sure that what you give them is not going to is what they need because if it's not then you have a slowdown you got to wait for the for the surveyor to go back and get that information so maybe you lose like a week there so the more that you can plan the better it's going to be for you from the very beginning so let's say like i said um right now it looks like it's a lot it's a blank lot but let's say you had a house here and you wanted to add uh like a room in the back you also wanted to add a pool back here Right now, this survey is giving you the information on the length of the lot here. And I don't, I'm not sure. It looks like this is feet. Yeah, so this is so 40 feet. And a lot of this stuff, like you're not going to have to learn what it means. But if you look at the legend, it explains what some of this stuff is. Um, but anyway, some of this stuff is, is, a, is very standard. It's going to be there no matter who you get it from. And you're gonna get uh, usually like the lengths of the lots. That's, that's that's the most typical thing you're gonna get. Another very typical thing is you're gonna get the uh, the the bearings of the uh, of the lot, and that's telling uh, the direction of the lines. And a lot of times they put an angle. Well, this actually incorporates the angle into it. So if they followed of the bearings and they would get the relation to each line because maybe the angle from here to here is not 90 degrees maybe it's like 89 point something and it's a lot of times it's not that important but it's always better to be accurate especially when you have that information um of course they're go they're always going to include where the north arrow is uh like in this case uh, this is north that's true north and uh it's going to show you any easements there's no easements on this plan and uh but again if you're building a pool if you're building an addition maybe you're going to have a pool deck like around the house like around the pool maybe you want to have a, a pool deck there um and you're going to want to have the grass around the sides and you're going to want to you need to know a lot of information if you want to maybe raise the grass around here so it slopes it's not a big drop off um, it's just a lot of things to note, but this survey, as it as it is, there's no elevations. There's no way to know what height the dirt is, the grade. So that's very important, and that's not here. So if you needed that, you needed to tell your surveyor, hey, I need to make sure you have elevations. So let's look at another example here. Uh, this is a uh, this is a more elaborate survey, and it has a legend as usual. It has a legend explaining what certain lines are. Uh, here we have uh, the bearings, as we had before, uh, the north, 48 degrees, 24 minutes, and 4 seconds as the angle. And again, we have the bearings, we have the lengths, uh, which is this 169 feet. 
We also have in this case, uh, they're showing you a lot more information of what's there. Maybe the other one was just a blank lot, but here you have your concrete driveway and you have your, um, you know, these are important. These are your, your, your setbacks, your existing setbacks from your property line. So the existing corner of the building, well, this is the corner of the building. Here's, if you look at it, this is the building here. This is the edge of the wall on the outside. And that wall is 12 feet. The corner is 12 feet, 66, uh, 22 point, sorry, 12.66 feet from the corner to the property line. And on the other end, it's less. So that means that this wall is not parallel to the property line, which is fine. It's not a, it's not a requirement, but these are things that are important to know. Because maybe you're, in this case, let's say maybe you're building an addition on the side of the house here. And if you only had this information here and you built it to this, if you built this new black line, which is going to be the new addition to 12.66, and the building is sloping, then you would have a jog in the building. Obviously, you would probably notice that before it gets built, you know, but maybe that'll change the layout because this wall you know, has to shift like two feet or something. Um, now, in this elevation, or sorry, in this survey, there's also uh, no elevations here. It's, it's showing you uh, information on the neighbor's wall. Uh, it's got some good information here as a starting point. But again, if you're going to be doing work on the exterior, that's going to involve adjusting the grade in any way, a deck or a pool or different levels, something like that, or you want to have stairs. The you know, very important tour for the stairs is to know the elevation. Um, then you want to have the, ele um, the elevation of, the, uh, of your property. So I'm going to keep going this other example here. This is this uh, very similar. This is showing you, you know, the size of your of your walls, or the lengths from your the corner of your building to the the property line. And what this is not showing, this is very common to show, is a lot of times the survey will have like a length. Let's say it's like ten point twenty two feet. Like it'll say it like here, like this. And each wall will have a length and we'll have another length here that says like 20.17 and it'll go around the house it'll be a little dimension around each each wall I, that's very common what i've seen but again it's it's for your needs because if you're not doing any exterior work if you're not doing an addition then it's not that helpful to have the whole house measured like that because i'm sure it'll cost more and it takes more time etc um and then it's also important, a lot of times they'll put some notes. But that's uh, up to the surveyor. And then um, this is a typical thing they also give you. A lot of times you get a homeowner's insurance when you're in a flood zone. Is they require to have a level, an elevation certificate. So this is what it looks like. Um, usually the surveyor will fill it out for you. they will put in the address. But what's important is the elevations and in this case um we're, we see that the bottom of the floor it is a 6.26 feet now that's based on usually ngvd but they also use navd um, and some other some other datums but that's not really that important for you to know but if you're going to need a uh, elevation certificate then you should ask for at the same time as you're doing the survey. Although I think they usually give them, leave them to you, like as a package. Uh, let's see here. This one does not have. Oh yeah, so this one has now. Here we go. Now this is a lot of times when you get elevations, they'll give you the contours of the building, and that's what these uh, that's what these lines are here along. Uh, this path here so let's see here yeah so it, it, these are all the slope of 
of this property and it's sloping up this way it's going or actually sloping down going from 10 12 uh here we got another slope line here i think it goes along the wall anyways if you're going to be doing work um i guess if you're doing an addition to the house if you're adding stairs if you're going to have different levels of decks and platforms then it's important that you ask uh to get elevations to get spot elevations um actually not spot elevations but to get elevations of the house and actually you can get spot elevations or you can get contours in this case I, I they give you the contour lines these are the contour lines as well these are all the orange are the new contour lines that they're proposing um and in this case in this survey i'm not sure exactly why the these lines are orange but maybe this survey is working out maybe they're installing something and that's why they're proposing this this new uh these new lines um this is another plan here another survey which also has the uh the spot elevations and in this case it's, it's sloping up um from seven point or 974 to 978 and there's a retaining wall here it looks like so this wall it is holding back the earth behind this and again if you wanted you know because of the the steep elevation so let's see here so the so the main floor is at 971 and here at 974 so there's a there's a three foot difference so this wall is probably three feet tall just based on this information um but a lot of times they don't give you the contours a lot of times they'll just give you um like a few points along the the lot maybe there'll be like an x here and it'll say like 963 for example and then they'll put another one over here and it'll say 962 but they won't necessarily draw these lines through them they'll just have some spots here and there um i'm sure if you get the contours it probably costs more maybe some severs always do it that way um but if you're shopping around for surveys then it's going to be important for you to ask do you guys do spot elevations which is like this or do you guys do contour lines which is when they do these so um you know maybe one place costs more but maybe they give you the contour lines which is a lot more useful for the architect and the engineer um and let's see here what was this so this is another basic survey too maybe you just maybe you're not doing any work in the house maybe you're just trying to get a uh, insurance for your house and you need a survey maybe this is enough this has the length of the house um has uh that's what i mean this is a very this is a very bare bones a survey i mean it's hard to even call it a survey it's more like a like a lot plan but again it's really like what you need you don't want to be overpaying for something or underpaying and then you gotta you know pay twice because you gotta find someone to do it right you know so so as a homeowner if they're doing your your property and you get a survey back and then you need to give that to the architect a lot of times the homeowner will just just forward it direct to the architect the architect will look at it and review it and then maybe they have comments but if you wanted to save a little bit of time if you got the survey there's a few things you want to look for um if you have existing stairs or steps in your house it's, and they're doing spot elevations make sure they get the spot elevations at the landings of your stairs because a lot of times we replace uh, stairs in, in, when we do projects and it's important to get that especially if they're doing spot elevations because if you only get a few spots in the front of the house maybe you're doing a new driveway um maybe you get a few in the back you miss some of the important spots that may be important for you so just 
if you have a little foresight, and you think about what you want to do to the house, to your project, then convey that to your surveyor. Because really, not only about the money. I'm sure, like I said, the price will vary. I don't know too much about how to price, how much they cost for a survey. So if you came for this video for that, I'm sorry, I don't have the information for you. But when you do get one, when you are asking around for quotes, you want to ask about, does this include elevations? Do you guys include um, like the edge of driveways? Because a lot of times they won't. Maybe, you know, because they got to spend time. Someone's got to go out there and, well, number one, they got to draft. They got to draw this, right? So that takes a little bit of time. But they also got to get someone to maybe measure this because it's not totally inaccurate. Um, and that just takes more time, more effort. But if, but if you don't need it, then maybe you can say, hey, you guys can admit this because I'm not going to do work in the front. So maybe you can leverage like what they're going to do and say, I don't need anything for the front, just do the bare bones in the front, but for the back, because I'm doing a new deck, then I need you guys to give me like a lot of points like near my future deck. So if I decide in the future, I want to put in a deck like this and I have a... Uh, some stairs on the side i want to have a big deck here and then i want to have stairs that go from here out this way for whatever reason you know it's going to be important for you to have the spot of elevation here at, at this point at the landing so if you plan and you tell them hey i need a spot back here in the future if you're doing some work if they didn't i guess disturb the earth then you should have that spot and um and when the architect, when he's going to do his spot, uh, his job, he has the information he needs, and there's a lot less guesswork. And maybe that could be a difference between having, uh, let's say, if these are all steps, maybe that's the difference between having, uh, I don't know, like 20 steps and like 18 steps. And maybe if you had 18 steps, then maybe you can omit the landing because you need a landing every 12 feet in height. So if you limit the landing, that means that the stair just got a lot shorter. And you wouldn't know that unless you had the spot elevation like for that spot. So I hope this was useful to somebody um, who's shopping around for surveys, who has questions about surveys. If you have any more questions on surveys, um, and this is about building surveys about your property, uh, please leave some comments down below and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm trying to think what else I, I could have covered that I didn't cover here about as someone looking for a survey, what do you want to ask? What do you want to look for? Uh, you know, with the surveys, spot elevations, I mentioned the lengths. If you need the lengths of the, of the building, you know, that's very helpful for the architect because a lot of times when the architect, when they come in there, or whoever's going to measure your house, when they come in, let's say you have a wall here and there's another wall here. When they come in to measure, they measure the inside wall. But there's a thickness to the outside that they're not accounting for because they don't know the true thickness of the exterior wall. Because, you know, it could be a lot of years. Maybe it was a brick wall and they covered it over with paint and they put another layer of something and it gets very thick. Um... So they don't know that thickness. But if they have the survey, and the survey has uh, these lengths, then they can use that and kind of work backwards. So it's, it's very helpful uh, for the architect if the survey gets uh, this kind of information along the lengths of the different walls. Like every change would have a length. So it would be like 20 feet here, 10 feet here, 15 feet here, 2 feet here, because it's a very short little leg here. They would put a little 2 foot here. So yeah, you know, those kinds of things are very important. Um, yep, so any questions, anybody? Feel free to do my best to uh, respond. Bye-bye.